Okay, because Audit the Audit doesn't want to perform any accurate investigative journalism and reach out to victims of crime and wants to defame their character, retaliate against them, and issue information that is not true, I am here to shed light on the story and call out a liar at face value. Here we go. Deputy Moore informs Mr. Raposo that Virginia law prohibits an individual from parking on someone else's property. Section 46.2-1215 of the Virginia Code states that, quote, No person shall leave any motor vehicle, trailer, semi-trailer, or part of a motor vehicle, trailer, or semi-trailer on the private property of any other person without his consent. That would be pretty cool, audit the audit, and I know that law is correct. However, I was parked on public property, And the people who alleged it was private property made false reports and false statements to law enforcement. The property was registered to a local government business open to and funded by the public. But let's roll. Additionally, section 46.2-1200 includes in the definition of an abandoned motor vehicle, quote, a motor vehicle trailer or semi-trailer that weighs at least 75 pounds and has remained for more than 48 hours on private property. Once again, I was on public property. Section 46.2-1201 states that, quote, any county, city, or town may take any abandoned motor vehicle into custody. The locality may employ its own personnel, equipment, and facilities, or hire persons, equipment, and facilities, or firms or corporations that may be independent contractors for removing, preserving, storing, and selling at public auction abandoned motor vehicles. Given the available information, it seems likely that Mr. Raposo's RV was removed from the property under the authority granted by these statutes. However, no, it wasn't. You're a liar. It wasn't removed legally. It was returned to me after 516 days. One of the two defense attorneys that was hired to fight me in court told me that he's not liable to say why they returned it to me. Now, after 516 days, that is over a year, by law, if they legally took it, they could legally dispose of it. I have to ask you, Audit the Audit, why are you misinforming people about my case? Why are you lying to people? Furthermore, why don't you reach out to me and ask me for the truth behind the nature of the investigation that I'm conducting that you are reporting on secondhand but failing absolutely miserably in regards to? Shame on you, audit the audit.